Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the envelope of the straight line where theta is the parameter. So we have to differentiate with respect to this parameter and eliminate the parameter to get the envelope. Now, as a first part, we take this equation and rewrite it. Ax into 1 by cos theta is secant theta. So that will become easier for differentiation. And again, minus by into sin theta will become that is 1 by sin theta will become cosecant theta and the rest of the terms are written as it is. Now, differentiating with respect to theta. So, other than theta, the remaining are constant. So, Ax is a constant which we keep as it is. Secant theta differentiation is secant theta tan theta minus By is a constant which is kept as it is. Cosecant theta is minus cosecant theta into cot theta and the remaining are constants. Now, we can make this as plus that is Ax into secant theta tan theta plus By cosecant theta cot theta equal to 0. We can take this term to the other side. So, we get Ax into secant theta tan theta equal to minus by into cosecant theta cot theta. Now change into sin and cos form we get ax this is 1 by cos theta this is sin theta by cos theta and minus by into 1 by sin theta and this is cos theta by sin theta. Now, we shall cross multiply. So, this becomes Ax into sin cube theta and equal to minus By into cos cube theta. From this, we can carry this term to the other side. So, sin cube theta by cos cube theta gives minus by by ax. So, now this becomes sin theta by cos theta equal to minus by by ax whole power 1 by 3 and this can also be written as tan theta equal to minus by by ax whole power 1 by 3. If we want we can take separate power 1 by 3 for the numerator power and I mean for the numerator and denominator because we have to get what is sin theta and cos theta and substitute here to get the envelope. So, for this we are going to take a small triangle in which this is our theta and tan theta is opposite we take this as minus by and adjacent as ax with power 1 by 3 and here by Pythagoras theorem root of ax whole power 2 by 3 plus by whole power 2 by 3 because we have to square and add when we square we can make this as positive and here it is negative but in the triangle we take we consider only the magnitude as positive even though we have written it as a minus by. Now from this sin theta becomes opposite by hypotenuse which is root of ax power 2 by 3 plus by power 2 by 3 and cos theta become Ax power 1 by 3 whole division root of Ax power 2 by 3 plus By power 2 by 3. Now let us rewrite the question here Ax by cos theta minus by by 
sin theta equal to a square minus b square. We are going to replace the value. So here ax by for cos theta I have to substitute ax power 1 by 3 by root of ax power 2 by 3 plus by power 2 by 3 minus by by minus by power 1 by 3 by root of ax power 2 by 3 plus by power 2 by 3 equal to a square minus b square. Now this becomes the reciprocal product with the numerator. So ax into root of ax power 1 by sorry 2 by 3 plus by power 2 by 3 divided by ax power 1 by 3. Here we have minus sign by divided by this will go to the numerator as usual. So let us write that first root of ax power 2 by 3 plus by power 2 by 3 and here minus 1 by will become minus 1 whole power 1 by 3 and by power 1 by 3 because minus 1 power 1 by 3 one of the value is minus 1. So we take that value other two are imaginary values. So this is by whole power 1 by 3 and the other side we have a square minus b square. Here this is power 1 and this is power 1 by 3. So when we carry this up it will become minus 1 by 3. So power 1 minus 1 by 3 will become 2 by 3. The so same thing for these two terms also. So what I can do is first I take the common terms which is root x power 2 by 3 plus root of ax whole power 2 by 3 plus b y whole power 2 by 3. And this is common. We left with only these two terms. This after simplification it is ax whole power 1 minus 1 by 3 is 2 by 3. In the same way this is b y whole power 2 by 3 equal to a square minus b square. Now here we see these two terms are same but this is having root which means power half here there is power 1. So when we add it will become half plus 1 which is 3 by 2. So we take the common base ax whole power 2 by 3 plus by whole power 2 by 3 whole power 3 by 2 which is equal to a square minus b square. Now we are going to carry this power to the other side. So already we have discussed about this when you have a power x by y equal to b this will go to the other side of the power as its reciprocal. So b power y by x. So in the same way the base ax whole power 2 by 3 plus by whole power 2 by 3 is written as it is and on the other side a square minus b square whole power 2 by 3. So this is our required equation of envelope.